And here's our fork in the trail. I'm gonna make a right and a right and go up on a sidewalk. So okay. okay. Nobody ever uses it. Exactly. All right. Man. And you can see some pretty modern structures in the distance here. Okay. Underneath. Nice. Might get a nice And there's the sand, and then this is the island, the Santani. And there's a big ugly road. That's a funny looking car. Alright, now we're on the other side of the bridge. Calls this the Beverly Hills of this area. And we're gonna make a left down to the pathway, drop down there. Banks of the sand now. I'm a specialist in finding tree canopies. Yes. And uh, there's a there's a pretty one over here that. Uh, That no one would find because I think your GPS would say that it's that you can't get through here. So. Right. And explain why you are an aficionado of tree canopies. Uh, I'm sensitive to the sun. I'm a little sensitive to the sun. I wear sunblock, and uh, of course, now at the, with today's weather, you'd prefer to be in the sun. And 
Yeah, it can't be, but just to show you. Because yes. In Paris, because the buildings are right at the at the level of the sidewalk, they actually act as uh, as shade. Right. So, you can cycle to Paris, cycle to work in the morning, cycle back in, in the afternoon, and you'll always find a place to be in the shade. Right, yeah. Because they don't have parking lots up on the sidewalk. Right. So, that's a huge asset for me. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. I love back in little, back in nature. Of tree. Yeah. Very, very nice. Now on a summer day, is there uh, a lot of people down here? Uh, on this side, no. Okay. On the other side of the bridge, the one that goes to to uh, the Canal Saint Denis, uh -huh. there you, you always have a lot of people. Okay. So this is always quite pleasant and tranquil. Absolutely. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're approaching a pretty major highway here. Right. What is this highway? Uh, this is one of the uh, freeways, the auto route they call them. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which number it is. Yeah. But uh, and we're gonna pretty much stop here when uh, we get to the tape and turn around. But if you follow, if you continue, you'll see a winding road that goes up out of this paradise. Right. And into Auto Hellscape. Yeah. <laughs> I finished your words. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna stop over here. All right. Yeah, that's quite the, the freeway. You can see the massive, massive infrastructure making it uh, easy. Yeah, another rider. Photograph the McDonald's. Oh, okay. Before, before it gets. All done. right, the, he's building this up. This is this McDonald's. So let's go get it. <laughs> so mark you just said something that i want to get on camera here and that okay. is uh you know that a lot of these hidden gems are just out there so. yeah and I, I i would imagine that would be true in most parts of the world and, yeah. and in the united states as well that you have these <clears throat> hidden paths some of them don't seem to go where a lot of people want to go. So you don't get a lot of traffic on those paths. I mean, foot, even foot or a bike traffic, no less cars. And uh, all of the northern suburbs are full of places like this. So this is just typical. And sometimes some of the people can live in the neighborhood and never go down these paths. Right. So it's, it's a great place for exploring. Right. And I guess the lesson here is that, you know, going out in your neighborhood, exploring, looking for these hidden gems is, right. is a big part of, uh, I think it's a big part of your book, right? And, yeah, and my argument also, because the book is 
uh, about Thoreau, if he were, if he had a bicycle, he'd also take challenges. Being one of civil disobedience, which he practically coined the term, he'd probably, he'd probably go out there on the strode and challenge and say, this is my territory. You can't take it from me. Right, yeah. The declaration that streets are for people. Yeah. There you go. And there are all sorts of hidden gems just like this. Find one in your community too. Okay. They're out there. Queue for the Canal Saint Denis. Right, yeah, yeah. So I, I saw some people queued up here to go that direction. Right. So that's the direction to the, the Canal Saint Denis and eventually to Paris right. along that route. there all right so now we actually do have a protected bike lane over the bridge over the Seine there's the Seine very much appreciated we lose our our uh, bike path and I think we're taking the sidewalk no we're not spanking new it's a yellow sort of paved surface and we've got some red surface over here interesting huh? I notice how they could have had two lanes of cars on each side but they have all this space here yeah yeah all right so this is new let's go check it out I have yet to actually experience a sentient Automobile. Huh. <laughs> so this they call the village. Okay, so they call this the village. And, uh, they, it was pretty decrepit for for many years, but they they restored it. They fixed it up. Instead of knocking it down and building more high rises, they fixed it up. And you'll see the central square. It's, it's quite attractive. We're not, in, we're not in rural France or anything, but it has the look of, a, of being a village. Right. So I see the the street tracks, the, the, the streetcar line tracks, have was, was that in originally? Uh, the, the tramway um, is relatively new. Uh, okay. Now my sense of, of years, when you get to be my age, each year is 170th of your life. Right. When you're 20 years old, each year is 120th of your life. So the years go by so quick that it, I can't quite remember right. when they put in the tramway. Right. But it, it's relatively recent. Okay. And the tramways, basically, the Grand Paris, they realize that Paris depends on the suburbs, the suburbs depend on Paris, and so they got to get their stuff together. And, and not just make Paris a gentrified uh, zone and leave everybody else abandoned. Right. So uh, they're, they're basically recovering a lot of uh, facilities for suburbs, and that's, the tramways have made a huge difference. Right. on the stonework here the newly paved repaved road so 
saw their village square and uh, you know they made it made it into a livable livable place yeah and it extends for a few blocks in each direction oh now uh if you want we have do you want to experiment and take one of the uh contra flow streets yeah let's do it okay yeah. here we go it says see soft yeah no entry except bicycle let's except see if it works bike. yeah let's see if let's it see works if we, if we survive all right all right we're rolling the dice here mark seems relatively confident <laughs> hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And tune in next time to see what happens when we roll down this Contraflow Street. Thank you all so much. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.